completely different topic here. It turns out that North Korea has uh, obtained a Facebook account and a Twitter account. This is this is a hilarious story. And the Facebook profile says North Korea is interested in men. <laughs> I mean, you can't make this, this stuff up, Louis. These are state-run Twitter and YouTube accounts. And it, there's one of two things. If, if you assume that North Korea is a man, I don't know, then North Korea appears to be gay because, they, again, they're listing on their Facebook profile that they are interested in men. And if you believe that that is not the case, what other interpretation is there of that? Certainly that it's a misogynistic society, right? I right. mean, that's the other way. That, that North Korea is guess. interested in the welfare of men, and, and therefore on their profile, they are, uh, they are indicating that, right? I mean, mm -hmm. I can't think of anything else. Yeah. Um, they put some videos out. This is just not—I I wish I was making this stuff up, Lewis. When I was watching this, uh, it, it's just incredible. Who comes up with this stuff? They put out some video clips. And in one of them, it's just dogs, literally a couple of dogs in some kind of enclosed area. And this is the music that's playing. And I, I kid you not, we have not doctored the music in any way. We have not paid a circus to compose this music. This is the music that was playing. <laughs> So you hear this music. A stationary camera, just looking at a couple of dogs in a cell, and right? And what, what I got, the email I got is that they have the dogs at a, at a zoo in North Korea. You can actually go to a zoo and see dogs there. That's, that's what it was. It's, it's amazing. And then they have another video, which I guess is designed to promote the nightlife of Pyongyang. It's just basically buildings. It's a skyline, the way you might see in New York. The lights appear to be on, which I know is a big issue in North Korea. The lights are, are not on for a lot of the day, with this music playing. <laughs> I mean, you can't make this stuff up. This is the music that's playing. And I think it gets even better. <laughs> okay, so we didn't get the whole verse. Oh, you, ha you have to assume the next 30 seconds of that are epic. If that doesn't make you want to party in North Korea. <laughs> then I don't know what does. Yeah, I mean, obviously, yeah. our CNNs and MSNBCs and Fox News have a lot to learn about making news entertaining. I'm right? catching the next submarine in. <laughs> there's, nothing, there's nothing more entertaining than dogs while listening to this. <laughs> the North Korean government is, is hardly opening up, though, with this new online presence. The content posted on the account is obviously pure propaganda like dogs and techno music, and there is no interaction with the users. I really want, I became fascinated with North Korea when I saw a documentary on VBS.TV, TV, VBS.TV. I encourage you to, t to check it out. It is absolutely fantastic, and you can absolutely assume that uh, you're going to hear a lot more of this on there. So we'll take a break. We'll talk to uh, William Murray next about Barack Obama being a Muslim or not, and much more North Korean music for you. Check out our website, midweekpolitics.com, and we'll be back with plenty more. Thanks to James Bradley, Tim Lewis, Renard, Jan, and John, new members on the Midweek Politics membership program. We're giving away an iPad, too, so make sure to check it out at midweekpolitics.com. Midweek Politics with Dave Pakman on midweekpolitics.com. Midweek Politics is made possible in part by CSR Wire, the corporate social responsibility newswire at csrwire.com, by DIF Design, specializing in custom business websites at difdesign.com. To find out more about underwriting Midweek Politics, visit midweekpolitics.com.